comments. If you need a private reading, all the info is below. My website's right there. The September special is Will They Return or Book Another Reading. Whatever you want to do. Leo, what's up? I hope you guys all had a great birthday. We are past Leo season. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys in love. What do we have for Leo? Sometimes I say bad words if that offends you. Just know ahead of time. You don't have to tell me about it in the comments. You can just take a hard left. But I hope you don't, I hope you hang out and stay. Let's see what's up for your love life. All right, so this is for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's up? What's coming in for Leo, please, in regards to love? From now through September 4th, 2019, what do we see for Leo? All right, so I did pre-shuffle, did all that good stuff. While I was meditating, I did see that King of Wands, which is you guys, and the upright. Maybe you're dealing with another fire sign, too. Action, right? Coming in, what do we have? We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. What's influencing that Nine of Pentacles is the Four of Cups. What's on your mind, Leo? What's going on? Well, the Two of Cups is on your mind. This is the take my cup. No, you take my cup. Take my effing cup card. All right. Seeing eye to eye, offering that cup. Soulmate shit, right? Past, we have the Chariot, Sign of Cancer. <clears throat> What's the situation? It's the Five of Pentacles. It's the Five of Pentacles. All right. What's coming into the near future? The Page of Swords. I will adjust the camera. How do you see yourself right now? It's the Wheel of Fortune. Karma, destiny, big changes. What do they bring in? They're bringing temperance. So see, some of you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. I saw that King of Wands. We have Major for Sag here. Could have Sag in their chart. What's going on in your emotions? The Ace of Swords, Leo. And what's the outcome in love? The Four of Swords. All right. All right. Let's move you down so you can actually see your reading. Leo, what's up? What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's get the overall energy. See, we have the Knight of Wands. Look, more Sagittarius energy. Could be you, obviously, fire energy. A lot of Sagittarius. All right. Overall energy with the Knight of Wands, traveler of the deck. Somebody's traveling, but also the Knight of Wands about taking action, whether you, this is you or somebody else. They're riding in, but not necessarily about long-term commitment, but very ambitious. Goes for what they want, right? Passion, action can be a little bit, bit of a player. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it all out there. All right. Coming in right now, you got this. You guys have this nine of pentacles energy. So it's very kind of independent, single vibe. Like knowing your worth. Virgo energy there for me. Um, this is, you know, it's affluent though. It's nice. Like the surroundings are good with that nine of pentacles. It's, you know, money's good. Career's good. You know your worth. Nine of pentacles takes good care of herself or himself. I mean, she's in a garden, Leo, and she's got a bird on her hand. What more could you want? That's what I think about when I see that Nine of Pentacles. It's like, I have everything that I need. I'm good, right? The influence or what's challenging this is that Four of Cups energy, Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio energy, kind of a little bit complacent. You might be rejecting people too. We've got the Five of Pentacles here in the foundation. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. I think it's you, Leo, leaving somebody out. You've got the two of cups on your mind, some sort of partnership. I feel like maybe you guys have moved on from somebody and you're looking for the one, right? The two of cups on your mind is that person that's, well, everything they are. And, you know, either you've left other people out in the cold. Maybe you've gotten some offers and you're just not real happy with them. Okay. Or there was a rejection here and somebody shut somebody out. We have that Cancerian chariot energy in the past. Somebody just moved forward, moved on, right? It's like overcoming obstacles. You know how to reach victory and success. So you get in the chariot, you call an Uber, and you move on. Or someone did. All right. Coming in, we got the Page of Swords. That's what you're going to experience. Somebody is keeping an eye on the expiration date in your milk, on your milk carton, and you're not even home, okay? The Page of Swords, the spy, but also the Page of Swords, um, air energy is very curious. The Page of Swords is looking right at this Nine of Pentacles. Whether you're male or female, I kind of feel like what you're going to experience, somebody's watching you, and they love your kind of confidence, your independent vibe, 
It's like a turn on, Leo, is what I'm feeling. I'm just saying. All right. Because you see yourself right now as the Wheel of Fortune. Probably going through some really big, big changes right now. Like you, you know that you're kind of going for your destiny here. You're kind of letting the universe play this out. You know, it's karma. It's big, big changes. It's kind of going with the flow. With that Wheel of Fortune, things are turning in your favor. And you see that. So what do they bring in? You have somebody in your environment that has this temperance energy, which is Sagittarius energy, Leo. But it's also about balance. It's being really patient. Their emotions are stabilized. They're all about healing, right? Bring in some harmony and peace <clears throat> to your life. All right, let's start clarifying. You're in your emotions. you got the Ace of Swords. You're having some sort of new breakthrough, some type of clarity. Your energy is pretty badass. I like it. Now, the outcome has the Four Swords, so kind of pulling away, kind of pulling away. I'm getting this energy of Leo's like, I know what I want. And until it comes for me, I'm rejecting other people. you very, very confident here. But let's check it. All right. Why is this Knight of Wands, the overall energy for Leo right now, Sagittarius energy? What is it? The Queen of Swords in reverse. You guys are cutting out players is what you're doing. You are. The Queen of Swords in reverse is like, uh-uh. No thanks. Look at her. Even in the upright, she can be very detached and she'll cut shit out, right? very communicative, wants the truth, that kind of shit, draws a line and say, but in reverse, guess what, this queen, whether you're male or female, they know a thing or two about hurt and love, they do, they've been hurt, and so before that player energy can get anywhere near you, you just cut it out, you're not having it, all right, so that's why coming in right now, we got the nine of pentacles, why is this here for Leo, the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, you guys are manifesting some shit, all right, you guys are manifesting a lot of abundance in your life, laws of attraction. You got a lot of power. You have, you know, you got the passion, you got the action, you got the emotion. You have everything that you need to manifest what you want in your life. Some of you guys are just liking that kind of independent single vibe. All right, there's a lot of Virgo energy there too. Some of you have Virgo in your charts. Who's this magician for Leo? What is this? Temperance in reverse. You're not willing to compromise. You're just not more Sagittarius energy because your vibe is high. You guys are vibrating on that high level, and it's like, if you're not coming correct, don't come at all, is what I'm getting. You guys are manifesting money and good shit in your life. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is this here for Leo? King of Swords. You guys, some of you rejected a Libra Gemini Aquarius. All right, again, cutting through the shit. If I don't like what you're bringing me, Four of Cups, I'm cutting you out, slicing and dicing. All right, let's check out the past. We have the chariot, sign of cancer. What happened here with this chariot energy? What do we have? The two of wands in reverse. Somebody couldn't make any plans. Somebody was very indecisive. They were just taking a seat. They really weren't doing much when it comes to this partnership or making some sort of decision. So you guys just moved on from that. It's like, nope, not doing it. I'm out. I called you an Uber, and I also called myself an Uber. Let's see who can leave quicker. All right, because on your mind, Leo, is this Two of Cups. What do we have? The Tower. Yeah. So a breakup, obviously, Scorpionic energy, probably somebody that you had a pretty strong connection with. But I also feel the Two of Cups is here because you guys know that that's what you want. You're not going to compromise with anyone who's not filling that cup as much as you are, Leo. You're having that epiphany, kind of going through an awakening. What's the Tower? Yeah. And you've got the Princess of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. You're following a dream. Some of you even have some sort of creative endeavor, okay? Because the Princess of Cups is very creative. It's, a, it's an energy of being a dreamer, a writer, a poet, something like that. But, of course, in love, this is new love, okay? You guys have had something kind of, you know, sudden come in. Look at that shit, the lovers. Sign of Gemini, making a choice to go for new love. And kick anything out that's not bringing what you want, Leo. Okay, a huge awakening here. Also, too, I think that some of you have had new love come in that was unexpected. Now, the situation is this Five of Pentacles. Why? What is it? Well, it's because of the Princess of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, some of you left an air sign out in the cold. All right. This person's still watching you, though, keeping an eye on you. Social media, again, hiding in your bushes. I'm just kidding. But I'm saying, why is this Princess of Swords here? The star, a lot of Aquarian energy. Some of you guys were dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius in their chart, perhaps. Uh, I do believe that this person wants to heal something. They do. They want to manifest something. But I think you've shut them out. 
Coming into the near future, we have the Page of Swords. Why? Oh, why, 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 why? Because of the Four of Cups. I mean, does this guy look like he wants to take one of those cups? Not so much. He's not even looking at him. He looks like he needs a cheeseburger, too. I'm just saying. But, you know, coming into the near future, somebody's keeping an eye on you guys because you rejected them. And I also feel like you're going to reject an offer here, right? You don't really want it here. Four of Cups. This could be the past. It could be just about anybody. I think this is more of a past person because you guys have new love on your mind. But this person is still watching you. All right. You see yourself as just ready for change. You're ready for that wheel to move in your favor. Wheel of Fortune. Major Arcana. Big shifts in energy. Why is this here? The hanged man. Having some clarity. Seeing things in a new perspective. I don't feel like that stuck or stagnant energy, Leo. I think that you guys are going through some destined changes here and it's good changes and so you're just taking a minute you're kind of looking at the world from a different perspective and you're good with it now what are they bringing so you have somebody in your environment bringing this temperance energy sagittarius what is it the world you might be at a distance from this person okay temperance in the world that's beautiful energy this person feels like you're the world I'm telling you it's also lessons learned. It's opening up a new chapter. This person wants balance in this situation, but I think you're going to reject them. What's this world energy? Why is this here? The Ten of Cups. See, they want the the all the be all end all with you. Ten of Cups, the family, the marriage, the completion here. Some of you guys may have even been married to this person, but this is what they want with you. They want the Ten of Cups. The Hermit, sign of Virgo. You guys have been withdrawn from this energy for a little while, Virgo energy. And so they've kind of been, oh, keep I keep getting, keeping an eye on you. They're looking at you. They're, the hermit is very inquisitive, kind of goes within, right? But you have somebody in your environment that wants that ton of cups. And I think you guys have a new partnership on your mind, all right? What's in your emotions? It's the Ace of Swords. See, this is a new breakthrough. This is something new. Ace of Swords of clarity and victory. Because of the Eight of Cups, you're you're able to walk away from something that you knew wasn't bringing the Ten of Cups. You're leaving it behind. Newness here. All right. Now, what's this outcome for Leo? What do we see now through September 4th in love? Regarding love, what do we have? Yes, we have the Chariot. Again, victory, success, forward movement, Cancerian energy. You guys are healed, right? And I think with that fourth sword, I don't. I just heard too, like, like retreat, meditative retreat. Like, ch um, the chariot can be travel. Four swords could be like literally going to some sort of retreat or spa or something like that. But more so, you're um, you're healing, and you're just kind of pulling away because you know how to get to that success with the chariot energy. Yeah, the ten of swords, just ending old cycles, betrayals, moving forward from that. You're completing cycles here, Leo. You are the devil. You guys were dealing with some toxic shit, and you're moving past that. That's that um, Capricorn energy. What's this devil energy? What is this? What is it? Yeah, the Three of Swords. That's some rough-ass energy there, you know? I mean, it really is. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay, a betrayal, some sort of ending. The devil, negative thinking, cheating, the three of swords also cheating. You guys are moving away from that and you're doing some recovery. And again, some of you guys are just worth getting, hearing, feeling, doing some sort of therapy or retreat or something like that. Your energy's badass. Okay. You do, a lot of you guys do have new love coming in. Um, and you guys are going to be rejecting something old. I think somebody that's still holding on to you. I'm just saying, yeah, the eight of pentacles. See, you're putting work into what? Yourself. Newer connections, healing. <laughs>